Hello everybody, how's it going? It's your boy Neo Starling. Today I have another tutorial here for all of you today. I'm going to show you how to have your heart rate show up on your stream, whether you're playing Twitch or whether you're on YouTube or any method that you're utilizing your OBS for. Um, usually uh, a lot of people utilize their uh, heart rate for things like survival horror games. That's what I use it primarily for. And you know, I like to see people's reactions because people can always fake a reaction, but you can't fake that heart rate now, can you? So you'll be able to have something similar to, to the effect of this right up here. So as you see up here, uh, my heart rate is currently at 77, 76, if it's fluctuating. Um, it goes back and forth a lot, but it's pretty accurate. So like if I move around, you'll see, you'll notice that it starts jumping, right? So it's actually like on point, it, it works, right? So without any further ado, I'm gonna show you all how to do this because that's pretty much what you came to this tutorial for. All right, so first thing we're going to do we're going to open up this window here and uh, this Garmin heart rate monitor, this is the one that I utilized. I purchased it. Um, you can buy it at $20 for Amazon and well, 20, 56 if you wanna be precise. This will be the heart rate monitor that you put around your chest. So essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna wear it and you're gonna put it like right below your, your breastplate. Um, that's the optimal spot in order for you to put it so that you can um, utilize it properly. Once you do that, you don't have to turn it on or do anything crazy. It, it kind of just like works on its own, right? But that's only the first part. The second part you're gonna need over here is this little ant dongle stick. So I ordered these both simultaneously, but for some reason this came significantly later, but maybe you won't have that, uh, that same bad luck, right? So this Garmin USB ant stick uh, from Garmin Fitness Devices will cost you about $24.95. Um, this device, you're basically gonna plug it into your computer and as soon as you put on your uh, your heart rate monitor, right? So next thing you'll need, because you need three things in total, you'll go over here to Golden Cheetah. All of this stuff will be in the description below, so I'll put links to everything that you guys need. Uh, you just go to goldencheetah.org and uh, you just download. I'm not gonna download it for the sake of saving everybody time. You know, you all know how to download a program by now, I would certainly hope so. Um, so once you download it, um, you'll just install it on your computer and uh, after that what you're gonna do is you're going to open it which is right up here uh, hold on let me actually close it out right now so that I can show you this from scratch okay so you're going to open golden cheetah right I already have my profile name on here you can create a profile name uh, once you do that you just hit open and the page will open up, it'll look like this. Uh, all you need to worry about is going right here to uh, train. Once you go to train, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit add device right up here in the upper mid left hand side. You hit add device and here you're gonna see the options that you have. If your computer already has Bluetooth, then you're, you're kind of good to go, I guess in this case, but uh, the dongle I think is a lot more reliable because it's an actual device that you plug into your computer You won't have to worry about a signal fading in and out on you. So the first one right here ant plus You'll just click on that Once you click on it, you'll see up here. Uh, it's gonna start to pair your heart rate. So my heart rate's paired already, right? So once you do that um, all you mind you in order for this to work you have to leave the windows open so you can keep them minimized in the background or whatever the case may be but it has to be open. If you close it out, then it's not gonna be paired and your heart rate's not gonna be working. All right, so after that, what you'll do is you'll go back to wherever it is that you're gonna stream, which in this case is right here. And as you can see, it's uh, it's pretty much paired and it's, it's working. Um, now, in order to what you're gonna do next, um, you'll see right here under sources, I already have it named heart rate, but essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit add and you would go to uh, window capture. Once you hit window capture, you'll see up here that it says compatible with most uh, modem, uh, most modern browsers and programs, right? So you would just add that and when you add it, uh, you're just gonna rename it heart rate or heart rate monitor, whatever you wanna name it, it doesn't really make a difference. It's, it's your preference. So you'll see up here, um, this is the heart rate and uh, this is what'll pop up. Now, now it's gonna pop up a lot bigger um, you can crop it. It's it's really simple to crop a lot of people They like to go into like a specific setting to do it, but it's really simple. All you have to do is uh, You could just hold right here and make it bigger or smaller But if you want to actually uh, shrink it down as far as like cropping it 
you would just uh, grab one of the sides right here. Um, you will hold Alt, and then you can literally like crop it in and out of existence. As you can see here, how I'm messing with mine. Um, and then yeah, then you could just like adjust it and then put it, you know, right back where wherever it is that you you need it to be. All right now, I'm just gonna leave it right there where it was at. So what I would do um, after I do that, um, it's not gonna look like this initially. It's gonna it's gonna be white and it's gonna be uh, the the number is gonna be um, black and the background is gonna be white. How you circumvent this is on the heart rate, you right click and you go to properties. And um, I'm sorry, wrong one. <laughs> uh, you right click and you go to filters. Right now under filters, you'll see here that I have a chroma key and uh, color correction. So these are the two that you'll need. Chroma key is essentially gonna do this. It's gonna have the, uh, the under key color. You're gonna click on it and, and click white. And then after that, you're able to fade it in and out the same way you would do with any regular green screen. Also make sure that uh, color type is custom. Um, then that'll pretty much black it out for you. And for color correction, this you can make it any color you want. I chose red as you could see here. So that way the uh, the number changes into red instead. And then, you know, you can adjust it to your liking. It doesn't really make a difference. You can make it red, blue, green, yellow. It doesn't really matter what color it is. Um, so that's pretty much what you'll do in that case in order to actually customize it to your liking. As far as this little squiggly line here that you see, um, I pretty much just added that from the internet. It's just a regular GIF image. Um, so I, it, it's preferable if you find that and uh, get one that's already transparent. So just write transparent in the search engine and then you can get one or you can get a little heart itself or whatever the case may be. You can, you can customize it to your liking. So that's pretty much how it'll look um, once you're done. I'm still gonna um, perfect mine to make it look a little different, but this is a solution that I found for now. So if you guys like this tutorial and you felt that it was helpful, um, please like, comment, share, subscribe, do the damn thing, help the bro out. I'm trying to grow this channel here. <laughs> But with that said, um, I've been Neo Starling. You guys are awesome. And don't ever, ever let anyone tell you different. Signing off.